Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Ever since I've started reviewing the noising software, DxO D Prime has always been a standout performer and considered the best in the industry. Well, in a recent April update, Adobe has come out with its own AI denoising competitor in Lightroom 12.3. So is this new denoising tool good enough to dethrone D Prime XD as the best AI denoiser? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. In case you didn't know, D Prime XD comes bundled as part of Photolab 6, which costs 199 US dollars. You can also get D Prime XD as part of Pure Raw 3, which costs 129 US dollars. Lightroom's AI Denoise, of course, comes free with Lightroom, which costs 10 US dollars a month. For this test, I'm going to rely mostly on the default noise settings, which should be the recommended setting for most images. For Lightroom, the default setting is 50%, and for DxO D Prime XD, it is 40%. For a fair comparison, I used Lightroom to do some basic tone adjustments for both Lightroom and DxO RAW files. The tone adjustments are necessary as most of these shots are underexposed shot in very little light. So without further delay, let's run the comparison slideshow. So I hope you enjoyed the slideshow comparison. As you have seen, both of these tools are excellent performers and does the job of removing noise remarkably well. So which one do I think is the better denoising software, DxO or Lightroom? If it was not obvious from the slideshow, the winner in my view is still DxO D Prime XD for a few reasons. First. At default settings, Deep Prime consistently produced the cleaner images while maintaining strong details. As you can see here, in Lightroom's default setting, noise is still plainly visible if you zoom the image quite large. I would estimate that Lightroom's noise reduction is more like DxO D Prime than the latest D Prime XD. If you look at D Prime XD, you can see that the image is much cleaner and very little, if any, visible signs of noise. And this is only at the default setting of D Prime XD. You might argue, why not for a cleaner image, just bump up Lightroom's denoise slider to 100%. So let's do that. So this is the original image. When you denoise with Lightroom at 50%, this is what you get. And you see clearly more details, but the presence of noise still throughout this image. So if you bump up the denoise setting, to 100%, this is what you're going to get. As you can see here, the problem with bumping up the denoise setting to 100% is 
is the detail in some of the important objects gets smoothed out, as is the case in the trees in this shot. So if you zoom in, there's very little detail now in the trees. That being said, the noise has been cleaned up. This is at 50% denoise, and this is at 100% denoise. D prime XD, on the other hand, produces a clean image, but at the same time maintains the detail in the trees. So this is Lightroom at 100%, and this is D prime XD at default settings. Lightroom at 100%, D prime XD at default settings. So much more detail in D prime XD shot. Another reason why I would think DxO D prime XD is better at noise reduction is the quality of its color reproduction. So as you well know, heavy noise will produce an image of low contrast and dull color due to the abundance of inaccurate pixels, which obscure the details of the image. DxO, in my view, was able to recover or represent the missing colors better. So as can be seen in the shot, this is a Lightroom denoised image at 50% strength. And this is DxO D prime XD's reproduction. Lightroom, DxO. So as you notice, DxO D prime XD's colors are much more vibrant. It's able to recover the color and produce a nice contrasty shot, which looks like it was shot at a low ISO. The third advantage of DxO D prime XD over Lightroom was the processing time. My experience with Lightroom Denoise was that it was painfully slow, averaging around three to five minutes per photo, and that has to be one of the laggiest noise reduction speeds in the industry. For comparison, DxO D Prime XD just took around 30 seconds, which is a fraction of the time Lightroom takes to complete the denoising. However, are there any reasons to choose Lightroom over DxO? Certainly. Lightroom's denoising quality is not very far off DxO D prime. And if you don't shoot as high ISOs as I've used in my examples and don't need the best of the best, I believe you wouldn't notice much of a difference between the processing of Lightroom and DxO D prime. So I hope you found this video helpful. Tell me in the comments if you prefer DxO D prime XD or Lightroom AI denoise. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.